Okay. Uh, the next lecture is about uh, uh, e IEC tools, uh, information, education, communication. Um, it's tools uh, that are used to uh, promote uh, the aim choice, informed choice, but also uh, you can use it for uh, general information, uh, uh, health, education, uh, awareness raising. Uh, the tools are, are, are made for getting a proper uh, participation of the target group uh, to secure ownership and sustainability. Um, you can only secure sustainability if you make the uh, beneficiary group or target group participate in the decision making. Uh, so you need to involve people uh, so they feel it's their, their project uh, and their decisions. Um, you can call it a bottom-up process uh, compared to where you are imposing uh, solutions uh, that you have decided this is good for them. Me and my colleagues we would go out and say, oh, this is the proper solution, technical solution. Uh, so this is what we do uh, without uh, consulting the, the users. Uh, so uh, that's the way you make mistakes with social culture uh, and you don't create ownership and the sustainability is lost. That's a top-down process that we don't want to repeat anymore. That was old time. Um, the informed choice is when you, in sanitation, give people uh, several options uh, and you explain very well what are the implications, what are the costs, how do we build this, uh, how do we maintain it, what, the, what does it cost to, to operate. But you give them several choices and you give them the information so they can make an informed choice. Um, so. Um, that is what we call bottom-up process in, uh, in sanitation. Uh, it comes from, uh, <coughs> uh, it's an element of a demand uh, responsive approach, uh, uh, a concept uh, developed by a World Bank. Um, there should be a, a text uh, uploaded on uh, CampusNet. Now, uh, you have different levels. Information is one thing, uh, education is another thing, uh, and then you have communication, which should be uh, two-way. Uh, what you want to do is that uh, you want to increase the, the, the level of understanding for the target group. Generally, they have a low level uh, of knowledge. Uh, then you have to go in and see what, what kind of uh, approach can you use here depending on the group of people? Uh, if people have been in school, if they're already working, uh, you need one uh, level, uh, one way of uh, communicating with them. Uh, if uh, the group you're talking to have never been to school or very little, uh, then you need another level. Uh, you need to take uh, care of uh, talking to the decision makers it's not everybody taking the major decisions. You have some local leaders. You need to include them. Um, you might need to train uh, some people that can go and train others, training <coughs> of trainers. And then, of course, you have the beneficiary group. That's uh, the whole target group. But that can be divided in men, women, children, uh, rich families, poor families, uh, lots of uh, different groups that might need to be approached uh, differently. Um, <coughs> you need a lot of meetings uh, uh, in the different stages of the, the project uh, with the different uh, stakeholder groups. Um, and then you need to uh, capacity build each of these uh, groups uh, according to what they actually need uh, to know and how, how much they can understand. Um, 
and then you need to keep on uh, with a, a high level of communication so everybody are informed uh, are, we are at the same level uh, all the time so you have different tools uh, like this uh, participatory hygiene and sanitation transformation uh, fast is developed by WHO uh, years back in the beginning of the 90s uh, it's still valid uh, uh, the the other method uh, CLTS is also valid uh, both of them have advantages and disadvantages um, you can do public meetings like theater music uh, do something at a sports event uh, a football game you talk 10 minutes about sanitation and then you have 90 minutes of football that's a nice share um, anything that gathers people uh, or you can have uh, meetings uh, of course where you invite specifically for 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 some uh, training um, also when you want to have uh, messages out uh, you can use some you can call them agents uh, religious or uh, traditional gatherings uh, to convey messages uh, I've tried uh, several times in uh, Africa to meet up with uh, the local priests of the church uh, to, to test if uh, I can get him to talk about uh, sanitation then uh, I would actually attend uh, church that Sunday uh, so I could also say a few words or he could point at me or whatever it always uh, results in uh, him coming to me the next day to save my soul and then I says no deal <laughs> But maybe I don't have the right approach. Uh, maybe I'm not religious enough. Um, um, you can have printed materials in uh, in in different forms. Uh, there's some cost involved, uh, and you have to make sure that uh, people can actually read uh, what you are writing. Uh, the local radio and TV, if appropriate, uh, is very expensive. Uh, to do that uh, radio is, uh, is smarter but then you need to have a big big project and TV is only if you go national <coughs> um, the fast uh, is a, a method using uh, simple pictures of water and sanitation related uh, situations uh, to promote uh, discussion um, among the, the, the group that uh, you are targeting uh, it's very important that the simple pictures are adapted to the local culture uh, so uh, it's easier to understand and, and, and uh, accept uh, for the people uh, so they don't sit and discuss why uh, is the background or the house looking different from in our village uh, which village is that from uh, then uh, the, the discussion about sanitation goes to another discussion um, so uh, a picture that is fit for a village in Ghana might not be fit for uh, working in Guatemala because houses and people look different um, also the uh, uh, the water source uh, might be constructed in a different way the latrines look different so uh, it has to be made specifically for your uh, purpose uh, and then you have to remember that uh, in the villages they don't have PowerPoint so it has to be printed on papers uh, of a size that can actually be used in a group um, here we have an uh, example of uh, different cultures and uh, different pictures uh, this is uh, a picture that should animate talk about uh, domestic violence but depending if you are in uh, Africa or in uh, India or in the United States you'll have different background different uh, people the same situation in all pictures but you cannot interchange you have to get the right picture and even for Africa uh, if you go to West Africa or East Africa you might need to change the picture because people are dressing uh, differently and the houses are different um, these are examples of pictures of daily situations so uh, washing 
feeding the children, working in the field, and in the top picture, uh, a mother taking uh, water from a dirty uh, water source and putting it into the uh, water container. Um, these pictures are, are to animate discussions uh, and say what do, for example, what do women do uh, during the day? Uh, and then you can go into the uh, issue of uh, the water quality using another set of pictures. Uh, you could also use it to explain, uh, for example, here a construction technique, uh, how to get a latrine. You have something bad quality. If you have some money, you can go start digging, building, and you end up with a future latrine, a very nice quality, and even including the hand wash. But all <coughs> on pieces of paper uh, to be used in the village uh, to animate the talk. You just you don't show them. You might give these eight uh, cards out and say, "Can you please sort them in a logical order?" And then people will sit, uh, ten or twelve people sit and, and discuss which is the logical order. And during that process, uh, five ten minutes, they will say, "Oh oh oh, it's all about building latrines," instead of you explaining it to them. Um, this is. Uh, uh, a type of uh, blanket with pockets in it. Uh, so you can use it for information gathering. People, they get a, a handful of uh, st stones or beans, and then uh, you go out and, and, and ask the question, now, uh, the woman uh, will do what kind of work? Uh, get firewood, uh, clean the latrine, uh, get water. Uh, the man what kind of work he will do. And then you put a stone or a bean into the pocket. And then uh, when everybody has been up there, then you can see who is doing most of the work. Um, and then, of course, uh, uh, to discuss and learn, this is uh, the F diagram from uh, Dafur, uh, where they speak Arabic, and they read from the other side. Uh, so that's the reason it's uh, up, it's turned around. Uh, you can actually cut out uh, these uh, round circles and then uh, cut out the arrows, and then you can make people put it together uh, in the way uh, that they think is logic. And during the discussion, <coughs> they'll learn a lot compared to you explaining. So meetings, uh, small, big. Here we find a, a place with a shade and sit down and talk with a group of uh, invited uh, stakeholders. Or we can have a, a, a gathering. Uh, this was at a school uh, where they make some uh, dancing uh, and then there will be some talk uh, also. Uh, you can have a religious uh, leader explaining something. This is actually not a religious leader, this is my friend. Uh, from uh, Arusha. Uh, he was giving a speech at some gathering. Um, you can have training, classroom training, or training in the field. This is from uh, Likamba, uh, where we are training uh, women to build latrines, female latrine builders. That's my favorite working partners. Um, <coughs> you can also this, this is a locally produced poster from uh, uh, India, from West Bengal. Um, um, it's about uh, the danger of arsenic in the water. Uh, it's a little bit difficult for us to understand, but for the local Indians there, they fully understand because all these... Uh, these, these uh, things here are uh, things connected to death. And all these uh, hand pumps, uh, blue hand pumps, they are also representing death. And up here we have all the dead people with uh, arsenic damages uh, to the skin. So it, it might not function to sh show it here or in Tanzania, but in uh, India it worked uh, very well and it was locally produced. <coughs> 